I'm going to show you how to get rid of the old, outdated, over-the-range microwaves and build a custom range hood. Step one is simple. Just remove your microwave by unscrewing it from the cabinet above. Then step two is time to remove the doors of the cabinet by simply unscrewing the hinges. Since our cabinets are custom, I didn't want to remove the whole cabinet, just the doors on the front. And our cabinets had crown molding, so I had to cut it on both sides where my range hood is going to go. Next, we ordered a ventless range hood on Amazon and placed it where the microwave used to be for ventilation. We ordered one that is ventless with charcoal filters since we didn't have a vent for outside. Then we filled in the tile where the microwave here. used to be. You then know. we went to the store and got you one by twos and two by twos that we're going to use for framing and a couple of two by fours. Then we took one by twos and screwed them into the side of the cabinets on both sides and across the front. This is the first step in boxing in your metal range hood. Next, we did another one by two on the back wall. We made sure we found two by fours to screw into. And then we did a two by four across going the same distance out as the range hood. Then we simply took two by twos and boxed it all together to create a square box. Remember, the distance coming out has to be the same as the bottom. Then we took another two by four and we connected the top framing to the bottom framing. This creates the full frame of what our range hood is going to be built on. Here it is before we enclose it. Now it's time to enclose this. We use thin sheets of veneer pine. It's about a quarter inch thick, so we cut the crown molding about a quarter inch back so it would slide right in and look like it was custom built and has been there forever. We did this on both sides and we cut it in an L-shaped pattern. Then we used another piece of veneer and placed it across the front. We did prime it before we hung it this time. Then we added all the trim pieces. These are great little square trim pieces because then you don't have to miter the corners. These trim square pieces are great because then you don't have to miter the corners. We just had to cut a straight cut and added the four trim pieces on all four corners, the one by twos, and then crown molding on top and bottom. This step is important because it makes it look you know, custom. And it hides it. the raw edges, which is very, very important. Then we primed it and painted it to match the cabinets. I wanted mine a little more detailed, so I got these cute yeah, sconces yeah. and made a small shelf. It's great for holidays to hang things on, and it adds I'm texture. We still need to finish out the molding on the bottom with a little corner piece of wood, but here is the results. It's a game changer in my kitchen.